Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. Today's meditation, we will enjoy the magnificent affirmations of Dr. Joseph Murphy. I've had dozens of episodes so far on the channel dedicated to Dr. Joseph Murphy's teachings. He was an expert at translating and communicating with the subconscious mind and he did it with these fabulous affirmations when repeated become patterns of consciousness that move you into these divine states and ways and patterns of thinking when I recite these affirmations they affect me deeply when I listen to them they do just the same and he is using biblical teachings and It is wonderful. So you can just start it here and listen to this anytime, even as something in the background. Let these affirmations sink deeply into your subconscious mind and learn them so that they become a part of your overall consciousness and reality. As with all affirmations, the feeling is the secret. Feel these affirmations as if they are becoming real and true. I have tried to collect the best affirmations that I could find. I'm sure there are many, many more. He was magnificent at writing them. This time you will only hear one affirmation from both ears. And for some, this may have a more profound effect. You can use these affirmations for health, wealth, and finding love and finding God. They are amazing and will change your life. So just find a place to sit back and relax. Let go of the outside world. Slow down your breath. Take a deep conscious breath. Remembering the feeling is the secret. And the goal is to feel and imagine these affirmations as real in your life from your perspective. Become the power behind these affirmations. I know that to prosper means to grow spiritually along all lines. God is prospering me now in mind, body, and affairs. God's ideas constantly unfold within me, bringing to me health, wealth, and perfect divine expression. I thrill inwardly as I feel the life of God vitalizing every atom of my being. I know that God's life is animating, sustaining, and strengthening me now. I am now expressing a perfect, radiant body full of vitality, energy, and power. My business or profession is a divine activity and since it's God's business it is successful and prosperous I imagine and feel an inner wholeness functioning through my body mind and affairs I give thanks and rejoice in the abundant life today is God's day I choose harmony success prosperity, abundance, security, and divine right action. Infinite intelligence reveals to me better ways to give greater service. I am a mental and spiritual magnet, attracting to me all those people who want what I have to offer. There is a divine exchange of ideas between us. They are blessed and I am blessed. I decree harmony, abundance, right action, 
and inspiration. And I know my subconscious mind accepts these truths and assumptions. The prayer of faith shall save the sick and God shall raise him up. I know that no matter what the negation of yesterday was, my prayer or affirmation of truth will rise triumphantly over it today. I steadfastly behold the joy of the unanswered prayer. I walk all day long in the light. Today is God's day. It is a glorious day for me, as it is full of peace, harmony, and joy. My faith in the good is written in my heart and felt in my inward parts. I am absolutely convinced that there is a presence and a perfect law which receives the impress of my desire now and which irresistibly attracts into my experience all the good things my heart desires. I now place all my reliance, faith, and trust in the power and presence of God within me. I am at peace. I know I am a guest of the infinite and that God is my host. I hear the invitation of the Holy One saying, Come unto me all ye that labor, and I will give you rest. I rest in God. All is well. God is the source of my supply. Whether it is energy, vitality, creative supplies, inspiration, love, peace, beauty, right action or wealth that I need. I know it is as easy for the creative powers of my subconscious to become all these things as a blade of grass. I am now approaching mentally and experiencing buoyant health, harmony, beauty, right action, abundant prosperity, and all the riches of my deeper mind. I exude vibrancy and good will to all. I am giving better service every day. God's riches are forever flowing into my experience, and there is always a divine surplus. All these thoughts are sinking down into my subconscious, and they are now coming forth as abundance, security, and peace of mind. It is wonderful. Consider the lilies of the field. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed as one of these. I know that God is prospering me in all ways. I am now leading the abundant life because I believe in a God of abundance. I am supplied with everything that contributes to my beauty well-being, progress, and peace. I am daily experiencing the fruits of the Spirit of God within me. I accept my good now. I walk in the light that all good is mine. I am peaceful, poised, serene, and calm. I am one with the source of life. All my needs are are met at every moment of time and every point of space. I now bring all the empty vessels to the Father within. The fullness of God is made manifest in all the departments of my life. All that the Father hath is mine. I rejoice that this is so. I know my body is the temple where God dwells. I honor and exalt the divine presence within me. Divine love fills my soul, and his river of peace flows through my mind and heart at all times. I eat my food with joy, knowing that it is transmuted into beauty, harmony, wholeness, and perfection. I know God hath need of me where I am, and I am divinely expressed. I am loved. I am needed. I am wanted and appreciated by my Father and others. I radiate love, peace, and goodwill to everyone at all times. My food and drink are God's ideas, which unfold within me. 
making me strong, wholesome, and full of divine energy. I forgive myself for harboring negative and destructive thoughts about myself and others. I fully and freely forgive everyone and sincerely wish for them health, happiness, peace, and all the blessings of life. Whenever a person comes into my mind whom I dislike, I will immediately affirm, I have released you, God be with you. I know when I have forgiven others because I feel no sting in my mind, the infinite healing presence of God flows through me and his river of peace flows through me. I know that divine love saturates my entire being and God's love dissolves everything unlike itself. The healing light of God is focused at that point in my mind where the problem is and it is shattered, making way for the Holy Spirit to indwell every thought and every cell. I give thanks for the healing that is taking place now, for I know all healing is of the Most High. I know God is guiding my doctor, and whatever he does will bless me. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I now give a pattern of success and prosperity to the deeper mind within me, which is the law. I now identify myself with the infinite source of supply. I listen to the still small voice of God within me. This inner voice leads, guides, and governs all my activities. I am one with the abundance of God. I know and believe that there are new and better ways of conducting my business. Infinite intelligence reveals the new ways to me. I am growing in wisdom and understanding. My business is God's business. I am divinely prospered in all ways. Divine wisdom within me reveals the ways and means by which all my affairs are adjusted in the right way immediately. The words of faith and conviction which I now speak open up all the necessary doors or avenues for my success and prosperity. I know that the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. My feet are kept in the perfect path because I am a son of the living God. I'm born to succeed. The infinite within me can't fail. Divine law and order govern my life. Divine peace fills my soul. Divine love saturates my mind. Infinite intelligence guides me in all ways. God's riches flow to me freely. I am advancing, moving forward, and growing mentally, spiritually, financially, and in all other ways. I know these truths are sinking into my subconscious mind and will grow after their kind. Thou madest him to have dominion over the worlds of thy hands. I know that my faith in God determines my future. My faith in God means my faith in all things good. I unite myself now with true ideas, and I know the future will be in the image and likeness of my habitual thinking. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. From this moment forward my thoughts are on whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely and of good report, day and night, I meditate on these things and I know these seeds and thoughts which I habitually dwell upon will become a rich harvest for me. I am captain of my own soul. I am master of my fate. For my thought and feeling are my destiny. I know that I mold, fashion, and create my own destiny. My faith in God is my destiny. This means an abiding faith in all things good. I live in the joyous expectancy of the best. Only 
the best comes to me. I know the harvest I will reap in the future because all my thoughts are God's thoughts and God is with my thoughts of good. My thoughts are the seeds of goodness, truth, and beauty. I now place my thoughts of love, peace, joy, success, and goodwill in the garden of my mind. This is God's garden and it will yield an abundant harvest. The glory and beauty of God will be expressed in my life. From this moment forward, I express life, love, and truth. I am radiantly happy and prosperous in all ways. Thank you, Father. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. My creative word is my silent conviction that my prayer is answered. When I speak the word for healing, success, or prosperity, my word is spoken in the consciousness of life and power, knowing that it is done. My word has power because it is one with omnipotence. The words I speak are always constructive and creative. When I pray, my words are full of life, love, and feeling. This makes my affirmations, thoughts, and words creative. I know the greater my faith behind the words spoken, the more power it has. The words I use form a definite mold which determine what form my thought is to take. Divine intelligence operates through me now and reveals to me what I need to know. I have the answer now. I am at peace. God is at peace. When there is no vision, the people perish. My vision is that I desire to know more of God and the way He works. My vision is for perfect health, harmony, and peace. My vision is the inner faith that infinite spirit leads and guides me now in all ways. I know and believe that the God power within me answers my prayer. This is a deep conviction within me. I know that the mental picture to which I remain faithful will be developed in my subconscious mind and come forth on the screen of space. I make it my daily practice to imagine for myself and others only that which is noble, wonderful, and godlike. I now imagine that I am doing the thing I long to do. I imagine that I now possess the things I long to possess. I imagine I am what I long to be. To make it real, I feel the reality of it. I know that it is so. Thank you, Father. I now dwell on the omnipresence and omniaction of God. I know that this infinite wisdom guides the planets on their courses. I know this same divine intelligence governs and directs all my affairs. I claim and believe divine understanding is mine at all times. I know that all my activities are controlled by this indwelling presence. All my motives are godlike and true. God's wisdom, truth, and beauty are being expressed by me at all times. The all-knowing one within me knows what to do and how to do it. My business or profession is completely controlled, governed, and directed by the love of God. Divine guidance is mine. I know God's answer for my mind is at peace. I rest in the everlasting arms. My business is God's business, and God's business always prospers. 
I use God's riches wisely, judiciously, and constructively to bless myself and others. I know the law of increase is now working, and I am open and receptive to God's wealth and bountiful increase. I am richly and abundantly supplied within and without from the infinite storehouse of riches in my subconscious mind. By day and by night I am attracting more and more people who want what I have to offer. They are prospered and I am prospered. My mind and heart are open to the influx of God's riches now and forevermore. I radiate goodwill to all mankind in thought, word, and deed. I know the peace and goodwill that I radiate to every man comes back to me a thousand fold. Whatever I need to know comes to me from the God Self within me. Infinite intelligence is operating through me, revealing to me what I need to know. God in me knows only the answer. The perfect answer is made known to me now. Infinite intelligence and divine wisdom make all decisions through me, and there is only right action and right expression taking place in my life. Every night I wrap myself in the mantle of God's love and fall asleep knowing divine guidance is mine. When the dawn comes, I am filled with peace. I go forth into the new day full of faith, confidence, and trust. Thank you, Father. For my friends, Infinite Spirit in its wisdom opens up the gateway for your true expression in life. Where you are doing what you love to do, you are divinely happy and divinely prospered. You are divinely led to the right people who approach your talents and you receive marvelous and wonderful income for wonderful service. You are conscious of your true worth and you are blessed and prospered with God's riches beyond your fondest dreams. I turn this prayer over to my subconscious mind which has the know-how of accomplishment and brings to pass in the divine order for you. I know that my good is this very moment. I believe in my heart that I can prophesy for myself harmony, health, peace, and joy. I enthrone the concept of peace, success, and prosperity in my mind now. I know and believe these thoughts and seeds will grow and manifest themselves in my experience. I am the gardener. As I sow, so shall I reap. I sow godlike thoughts. These wonderful seeds are peace, success, harmony, and goodwill. It is a wonderful harvest. From this moment forward, I am depositing in the universal bank my subconscious mind, seeds, or thoughts of peace, confidence, poise, and balance. I am drawing out the fruit of the wonderful seeds I am depositing. I believe and accept the fact that my desire is a seed deposited in the subconscious. I make it real by feeling the reality of it. I accept the reality of my desire in the same manner I accept the fact that the seed deposited in the ground will grow. I know it grows in the darkness. Also my desire or ideal grows in the darkness of my subconscious mind. In a little while, like the seed, it comes above the ground, becomes objectified as a condition or circumstance or event. Infinite intelligence governs and guides me in all ways. I meditate on whatsoever things are true, honest, just, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things, and God's power is with my thoughts of good. I am at peace. Jesus said God is a spirit, and that they worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. I know and realize that God is a spirit moving within me. I know that God is a feeling or deep conviction of harmony, health, and peace within me. It is the movement of my own heart. 
the spirit or feeling of confidence and of faith which now possesses me is the spirit of God and the action of God on the waters of my mind this is God it is the creative power within me I live move and have my being in the faith and confidence that goodness truth and beauty shall follow me all the days of my life this faith in God and all things good is omnipotent it removes all barriers I now close the door of the senses I withdraw all attention from the world I turn within to the one the beautiful and the good here I dwell with my father beyond time and space here I live move and dwell in the shadow of the Almighty I am free from all fear from the verdict of the world and the appearance of things I now feel his presence which is the feeling of the answered prayer or the presence of my good I become that which I contemplate I now feel that I am what I want to be this feeling or awareness is the action of God in me it is the creative power I give thanks for the joy of the answered prayer and I rest in the silence that it is done Jesus said thy faith made thee whole I positively believe in the healing power of God within me my conscious and subconscious mind are in perfect agreement I accept the statement of truth which I positively affirm the words I speak are words of spirit and they are truth I now decree that the healing power of a God is transforming my whole body making me whole pure and perfect I believe with a deep inner certitude that my prayer of faith is being manifested now I am guided by the wisdom of God in all matters the love of God flows in transcendent beauty and loveliness into my mind and body transforming restoring and energizing every atom of my being I sense the peace that passeth understanding God's glory surrounds me and I rest forever in the everlasting arms all year brethren for one as your father I always bring harmony peace and joy into every situation and into all of my personal relationships I know believe and claim that the peace of God reigns supreme in the mind and hearts of everyone in my home and business no matter what the problem is I always maintain peace poise and patience and wisdom I fully and freely forgive everyone regardless of what they may have said or done I cast all my burdens on the God self within I go free this is a marvelous feeling I know that blessings come to me as I forgive I see the angel of God's presence behind every problem or difficult situation I know the solution is there and that everything is working out in divine order I trust the God presence implicitly it has the know-how of accomplishment the absolute order of heaven and his absolute wisdom are acting through me now and at all times I know that order is heaven's first law my mind is now fixed joyously and expectantly on this perfect harmony I know the result is the inevitable perfect solution my answer is God's answer it is divine for it is the melody of God's broadcast today I am reborn spiritually I completely detach myself from the old way of thinking and I bring divine love light and truth definitely into my experience I consciously feel love for everyone I meet mentally I say to everyone I contact I see the God in you and I know you see the God in me I recognize the qualities of God in everyone I practice this morning noon and night it is a living part of me I am reborn spiritually now because all day long I practice the presence of God no matter what I'm doing whether I am walking the street shopping or about my daily business 
Whenever my thought wanders away from God or the good, I bring it back to the contemplation of His holy presence. I feel noble, dignified, and godlike. I walk in a high mood, sensing my oneness with God. His peace fills my soul. I know that the answer to my problem lies in the God Self within me. I now get quiet, still, and relaxed. I am at peace. I know God speaks in peace and not in confusion. I am now in tune with the infinite. I know and believe implicitly that infinite intelligence is revealing to me the perfect answer. I think about the solution to my problems. I now live in the mood I would have were my problems solved. I truly live in this abiding faith and trust which is the mood of the solution. This is the Spirit of God moving within me. The Spirit is omnipotent. It is manifesting itself. My whole being rejoices in the solution. I am glad. I live in this feeling and give thanks. I know that God has the answer. With God all things are possible. God is the living Spirit Almighty within me. He is the source of all wisdom and illumination. The indicator of the presence of God within me is a sense of peace and poise. I now cease all sense of strain and struggle. I trust the God power implicitly. I know that all the wisdom and power I need to live a glorious and successful life are within me. I relax my entire body. My faith is in His wisdom. I go free. I claim and feel the peace of God flooding my mind, heart, and whole being. I know the quiet mind gets its problems solved. I now turn the request over to the God presence, knowing it has an answer. I am at peace. I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. The God in me has limitless possibilities. I know that all things are possible with God. I believe this and accept it wholeheartedly now. I know that the God power in me makes darkness light and crooked things straight. I am now lifted up in consciousness by contemplating that God indwells me. I speak the word now for the healing of mind, body, and affairs. I know that this principle within me responds to my faith and trust. The Father doeth the works. I am now in touch with life, love, truth and beauty within me. I now align myself with the infinite principle of love and life within me. I know that harmony, health and peace are now being expressed in my body. As I live, move and act in the assumption of my perfect health, it becomes actual. I now imagine and feel the reality of my perfect body. I am filled with a sense of peace and well-being. Thank you, Father. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. I am still and at peace. My heart and my mind are motivated by the spirit of goodness truth, and beauty. My thought is now on the presence of God within me. This stills my mind. I know that the way of creation is spirit moving upon itself. My true self now moves in and on itself creating peace, harmony, and health in my body and affairs. I am divine in my deeper self. I know I am a son of the living God. I create the way God creates by the self-contemplation of spirit. I know my body does not move of itself. It is acted upon by my thoughts and emotions. I now say to my body, be still and quiet. It must obey. I understand this and I know it is a divine law. I take my attention away from the physical world. I feast in the house of God within me. I meditate and feast upon harmony, health, and peace. These come forth from the God essence within. 
I am at peace. My body is a temple of the living God. God is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Wist ye not that I be about my father's business? I know that my business profession or activity is God's business. God's business is always successful. I am growing in wisdom and understanding every day. I know, believe, and accept the fact that God's law of abundance is always working for me, through me, and all around me. My business or profession is full of right action and right expression. The ideas, money, merchandise, and contracts that I need are mine now and at all times. All these things are irresistibly attracted to me by the law of universal attraction. God is the life of my business. I am divinely guided and inspired in all ways. Every day, I am presented with wonderful opportunities to grow, expand, and progress. I am building up goodwill. I am a great success because I do business with others as I would have them do it with me. God dwells at the center of my being. God is peace. This peace enfolds me in its arms now. There is deep feeling of security, vitality, and strength underlying this peace. This inner sense of peace in which I now dwell is the silent, brooding presence of God. The love and the light of God watch over me as a loving mother watches over the sleeping child. Deep in my heart is the holy presence that is my peace, my strength, and my source of supply. All fear has vanished. I see God in all people. I see God manifest in all things. I am an instrument of the divine presence. I now release this inner peace. It flows through my entire being, releasing and dissolving all problems. This is the peace that passeth understanding. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, Behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. I am now full of a divine enthusiasm because I am in the presence of divinity. I am in the presence of all power, wisdom, majesty, and love. The light of God illumines my intellect. My mind is full of poise, balance, and and equilibrium. There is a perfect mental adjustment to all things. I am at peace with my own thoughts. I rejoice in my work. It gives me joy and happiness. I draw continually upon my divine storehouse, for it is the only presence and the only power. My mind is God's mind. I am at peace. When a negative thought of fear, jealousy, or resentment enters my mind, I supplant it with the thought of God. My thoughts are God's thoughts, and God's power is with my thoughts of good. I know I have complete dominion over my thoughts and emotions. I am a channel of the divine. I now redirect all my feelings and emotions along harmonious, constructive lines. The sons of God shouted for joy. I now rejoice to accept the ideas of God, which are peace, harmony, and goodwill. And I delight to express them. This heals all discord within me. Only God's ideas enter my mind, bringing me harmony, health, and peace. God is love. Perfect love casteth out fear, resentment, and all negative states. I now fall in love with truth. I wish for all men, everything I wish for myself. I radiate love, peace, and goodwill to all. I am at peace. There is no fear as perfect love casteth out fear. Today I permit love to keep me in perfect harmony and peace with all levels of my world. My thoughts are loving, kind, and harmonious. I sense my oneness with God, for in Him I live, move, and have my being. I know that all my desires will be realized in perfect order. I trust the divine law within me to bring my ideals to pass. 
The Father doeth the works. I am divine, spiritual, joyous, and absolutely fearless. I am now surrounded by the perfect peace of God. It is the peace of God that passeth all understanding. I now place all my attention on the thing desired. I love this desire, and I give it my whole-hearted attention. My spirit is lifted into the mood of confidence and peace. This is the spirit of God moving in me. It gives me a sense of peace, security, and rest. Truly, perfect love casteth out fear. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. This is my own mind. All the thoughts inter Attained by me, conform to the harmony, peace, and goodwill. My mind is the dwelling place of happiness, joy, and deep sense of security. All the thoughts that enter my mind contribute to my joy, peace, and general welfare. I live, move, and have my being in the atmosphere of good fellowship, love, and unity. All the people that dwell in my mind are God's children. I am at peace in my mind with all the members of my household and all mankind. The same good I wish for myself, I wish for all men. I am living in the house of God now. I claim peace and happiness, for I know I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. I know that the inner desires of my heart come from God within me. God wants me to be happy. The will of God for me is life, love, truth, and beauty. I mentally accept my good now, and I become a perfect channel for the divine. I come into his presence singing. I enter into his courts with praise. I am joyful and happy. I am still and poised. The still small voice whispers in my ear, revealing to me the perfect answer. I am an expression of God. I am always in my true place doing the thing I love to do. I refuse to accept the opinions of man as truth. I now turn within and I sense and feel the rhythm of the divine. I hear the melody of God whispering the message of love to me. My mind is God's mind and I am always reflecting divine wisdom and divine intelligence. My brain symbolizes my capacity to think wisely and spiritually. God's ideas unfold within my mind with perfect sequence. I am always poised, balanced, serene and calm for I know that God will always reveal to me the perfect solution to all my needs. I now let go of everything. I enter into the realization of peace, harmony, and joy. God is all, over all, through all, and all in all. I lead the triumphant life because I know that divine love guides, directs, sustains, and heals me. The immaculate presence of God is at the very center of my being. It is made manifest now in every atom of my body. There can be no delay, impediment, or obstruction to the realization of my heart's desire. The almighty power of God is now moving in my behalf. None shall stay its hand and say unto it, What doest thou? I know what I want. My desire is clear-cut and definite. I accept it completely in my mind. I remain faithful to the end. I have entered into the silent inner knowing that my prayer is answered and my mind is at peace. Thank you, Father. Amen. Now dwell on these thoughts and states from these affirmations for a few moments, solidifying them deep into your subconscious mind.
Very good. Now slowly come back to yourself and let these cement deeply into your subconscious mind. You are a perfect expression of infinite intelligence as so aptly described by Joseph Murphy. This will truly change your life. These thoughts and patterns and ideas and words will truly change your life. So go out and have a gloriously wonderful, magnificent day of sending love to everyone. And welcome to the Reality Revolution.